I'm gonna show you exactly how to use ranges in Python right now. So let me go ahead and say for X in range one through 1000, print X. Now, what do you think this is gonna do? Well, it's gonna go ahead and set X to one and then print it. And then it's gonna set X to the range in between. So there's a thousand variables X will be and it'll print all of them. So this should print one to 999, as you can see, 999. And that's because it's a range between one and 1000, not including 1000. But if I wanted to go ahead and show all the way up to 1000, I'd have to hit 1001. So that's one great way you can um, create a range. And I could say print range of one and 1000, could try that, or 100, let's see what happens there. And that doesn't work, why? Because you have to loop through the range like I just showed you. So ranges are pretty, pretty useful. Uh, if you wanted to like do a function like a thousand times, let's say that, let's call function here. I just want to do it a thousand times. Well, I have this function that's called, that prints, uh, hello friends, I love this. So it's gonna print it a thousand times, right? Because we're using a range, one in a thousand. And then it's gonna do the function. And the function, so for one in a, the range of a thousand, one in a thousand and one, it's gonna print, hello friends, I love this. So it should print, hello friends, I love this a thousand times. And I think it does. I am having fun with this. Actually, I really hope this is helping you you know, become a better programmer or at least solve a problem you're on right now because that's my favorite part about programming is running into a problem and finding the solution. Finding the solution is the best. But what if I wanted to just say, let's say print X again. So for in the range of one in 1000 and one, it should print X. Remember, that's just gonna print out one through 1001, like, or 1000, we already know that. But what if I just want to do the range, but in steps of 10 or better yet, a hundred, I just put a comma there. So it's super cool because now it's going to go one hundred and one. Just let's just show it. As you can see, now it counts in hundreds. So you can see where this becomes very useful. And the thing about coding is like you learn these basic steps to things and then you can do whatever you want. For example, if I want to say count by 55, that's how you do it. So it's saying the range of this and this is the step. And you can read about that here, actually. I don't know if you use Visual Studio Code or not, but I do. And I like this because it can teach you about things while you go. So now it should print out X in steps of 55. So just like that. So that's how you use ranges in Python. There's a ton of other ways as well. I just wanted to give you a brief overview. I'm gonna show you this video at the end of here that you should just jump right into. But if you're ready to just dive deep into Python and really become an expert, I have a bootcamp. There's a link to that somewhere in the description or the comments. Uh, if you're not quite ready to you know, go balls deep with Python, check out the video that I'm showing on this screen right now. Uh, I want to keep teaching you. This is so, so fun to me, and I hope this really helped you out. But the video should be on your screen right now. Just tap it or click it, and I'll see you in there right now.